Manates. The story of the evolution of man is perhaps the most fascinating of all stories of mankind, for the process of evolution of the human species evolved from basic ape-like forms to the modern man of today. This is our heritage, and because of it, there lurks in man from the which we sprung as well as human possessed of shining ideals and pure mentality, towards which we constantly strive. A beginning in the dimmest of times when Earth was young, it was a primeval ape creature. As beyonds passed in the unknown, a time rotation occurred within the structure of those ape creatures and left its appropriate tree fellows become a ground ape. So the passing of most late ages saw a change in the creature that was to become man eventually, and a canonistic period produced a running ape. An ape creature now completely divorced from the true apes, who still lived in trees. This was a ground ape that ran and hid in rocks and caves rather than trees. The divine spark of intelligence was in these creatures, because their existence was more dangerous on the ground than in the trees. They had learned to kindness for their hands and learned skillfulness. Time passed and slowly over the grinding centuries, evolution occurred, aided by small mutations, for which nature selected those Creatures most fit to survive. Perfilet Pecanius Erectorus, the walking ape man, was born. These man beasts used stone tools, a sun and risen on the brawn of mankind. Scientists think that several branches of the human family came into being from these early ancestors. Some of them were giants. Some of them were stepped backward in the process of evolution, more beast-like than their, than, their, than their ancestors. Most of these branches died out and not, direct, and not directly in kingship with man. Then, during the third industrial age, a group of submen and a group of nefandial men wandered over the earth. The submen came extinct. Perhaps hunted and killed by Mephodia man, the Vanda man increased. Homus Dibius, the first man the true first of the true men to walk the earth. Later came the Crow Mangor man, and the development of the true Homus sapiens had arrived in this man's heritage from the jungle to the skyscraper.